In this video I'll be showing you how to fix Need for Speed Unbound crashing, freezing or not loading on your Windows 10 and 11 PC. But before we get started I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that we will do which I will add more methods to if I can think of any that I wasn't able to add to this video. So the first thing that you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and then select settings. We now need to click on update and security and we just want to ensure that Windows is up to date. So you now need to click on the check for updates button. If Windows does detect any new updates, it will then begin to download and install them. If you do have a feature update like I do available, also download and install that. So once you've updated Windows, the next thing that you need to do is also ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So if you have an AMD graphics card, you need to go to the AMD website to get the driver. If you have an Nvidia, go to the Nvidia website. And the same with Intel, go to the Intel website. If you're not sure what graphics card you have, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then go into device manager. If you then expand display adapters, you will then see your graphics card. As you can see, I have an Nvidia GTX 1660 Super, which means I'd need to go to the Nvidia website. I will also put some links in the description below on how you can update an Nvidia AMD and Intel graphics card. So now that we've done that, Go ahead and launch Need for Speed Unbound and see if that helped resolve the issue you're having with it crashing. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is go to the location where you installed the game. If you're not sure where you installed it, then you can right click on the shortcut file and go open file location. So once you're in the location, you now need to right click on the Need for Speed Unbound.exe and go to properties. You then need to select compatibility and we now need to tick the option that says run this program as an administrator. You then need to press apply and OK. Once you've done that, now go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped. If it didn't, then stay in the location where Need for Speed is installed and you then need to open up the installer folder at the top. We then need to go into the VC folder and you then need to go into the VC 2015 folder first. And we then need to go into the Redist folder and you now need to run the setup file for your computer. So if you've got a 64-bit version of Windows, run the 64. If you've got a 32-bit, run the AE6 version. If you're not sure what version you have, you can find this out by right-clicking on the Start menu icon and then going to System. So as you can see here, it says next to system type x64 because I've got a 64-bit version of Windows, which means I'd need to run the 64 version. So once you've installed that, then go back to the VC folder and then do the same again in the 2017 folder and the 2019. Now go ahead and launch Need for Speed and see if that helped. If it didn't, then you now need to go to your Documents folder within File Explorer. You then need to find the Need for Speed folder and you then need to right click on this folder and go rename and we then need to just add BK to the end and press enter. So if you have been changing the settings within the game, there could be a setting that the game didn't like and that's why it's now crashing on your computer. So now try and launch the game and see if that helped. If it didn't help, then you can delete the new folder that it gets created and then rename this folder back. If that didn't help, then the next thing we're going to do is verify the game files to ensure that none of them have become either corrupted or missing. So if you purchased the game through Steam, you will need to open up Steam. If you purchased it through the EA app, then you will need to open the EA app. So I'm going to show you how to do this in Steam first. So once you have Steam open, you need to select your library and then find the game in your games list. I'm going to use Fee Ryzen as the example. You then need to right click on the game and go to properties. And you now need to select local files. And you then need to click on verify integrity of game files. And this is now going to ensure that none of the files have become either corrupted or missing. So to do this in the EA app, we need to open up the EA app. So for those of you that purchased Need for Speed Unbound through the EA app, once you have it open, you need to select My Collection and you then need to find the game and click on the three dots and you will then see the Repair option. You then need to click onto this option and it will now begin to repair the game. As you can see, it's doing that in the bottom left hand corner. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below and if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.